Hi there! This is Ethan once again and I am here at the Ali Carbon Forest. The Philippine Eagle Foundation's very own reforestation project right here at the heart of Davao City. We are here today because today's episode of Nature Talks will be all about gardening. And as such, we will be meeting a very special guest from the Philippine Eagle Foundation later. Hi everyone, um, I'm Tristan Senarillos. I work at the Philippine Eagle Foundation as a field biologist. Being a field biologist, I spend most of my time in the field studying wild Philippine eagles as well as monitoring um, birds released back from the wild. My work also includes monitoring Philippine eagle success of nesting wild Philippine eagles as well as studying Philippine eagle habitats across the country. Hi everyone, I am here with Tristan from the Philippine Eagle Foundation Research and Development Team. So Tristan, what are we doing here today? So we are here at our garden, so we'll be talking about the basics of plant eating and the importance of plants for our human health. Ah, I see. So Tristan, what are these plants? So here in front of us are called Sansevierias. So Sansevierias are succulent type plants, so they require less uh, water. So if these are succulents, why do they all look different? Um, they all look different because uh, these are different uh, varieties of Sanchiberia. So that's why they have different leaf architectures. The general advice I give here is to know your plants because different species and variety of plants require different growth requirements. So another plant we have here is the Interprimnum aureum or commonly called as Golden Potos. Golden Potos are good winter plants because they require uh, low light and... Nasa ilalim? So parang pag binunot mo, may parang bilog siya. Sa tip and like a bulb. Oo. Or bulb. Oo. Tapos dito. So Tristan, why do you keep a lot of plants? So outside my work, I'm a gardener, I'm a certified plant hobbyist, and I keep plants for uh, two purposes. Uh -huh. So first is, um, they keep me calm, and then um, challenging to give different care to different plants. What plants are these? So here in front of us, the, the color, colorful ones are called Anglonimas. So they are uh, the same family of Anturiums and Philodendrons. Okay. How can planting, gardening, help contribute to our environment. First, um, gardening or planting uh, is a good hobby, especially in this time of the pandemic. Second, gardening can contribute to plant conservation through arboretums or green greenhouses. Alright, so that is it for our little trip with Tristan Senyarillos, Philippine Eagle Foundation biologist. <coughs> Plant keeping is a tradition that has spanned for thousands of years and is inherently part of our history as humans. Not everyone may have a garden or space for keeping nurseries or trees, but everyone can start keeping plants indoors. And since the start of the pandemic, more and more people have been keeping plants indoors. And what all this indicates is that we humans have a proclivity for the environment, for nature, for green spaces. Being locked indoors for most of the pandemic has made us realize how much we need these green spaces, how much we need plants, how much we need trees, and that all of these connect not just to our physical well-being but also to our mental well-being. You see, humans have lived for thousands of years with trees, much more so than your local skyscraper. So, once the effects of the pandemic have slowly died down, maybe, just maybe, we can all extend our newfound love for plants for trees in the support of our reforestation projects such as in the Ali Davao Carbon Forest. So we can all see plants and trees not just within our homes, but also in the outside world.